Welcome to the Inco, welcome to your weekly news. Welcome to the Inco, welcome to your weekly news, and we're going to keep this nice and short uh, for this video because uh, we want to be straightforward with the news that we want to put out today, and that is that we are starting the decline. Uh, if you've noticed uh, the things that have happened uh, these couple of days, uh, they have not been in par with what has happened the last weeks. Uh, if you've seen the stock market the last weeks, uh, you've noticed that when it, everything started, uh, it crashed and then slowly but surely it started to go back up thanks to uh, speculation, uh, thanks to government uh, issuing uh, money to the people, uh, loans to companies and giving all sorts of stimulus and this has helped the stock market go uh, steadily back up uh, into some cases uh, getting back up to uh, just uh, a full recovery uh, and not being realistic on what is happening in the economy and what is happening to the people uh, in the states and to people all around the world on the, what their economic sufferings and their social sufferings and their personal sufferings thanks to this situation. So why do we say that this is the beginning of the decline? Well if you noticed uh, this week the Dow dipped and it, it did not uh, uh, recuperate or did not go back up uh, as it normally does. Uh, it's been dipping a little uh, too too low for what we expect us uh, and this is just one sign but if you've noticed or have you been keeping in touch with what is happening in your surroundings uh, you've noticed that small businesses unfortunately are shutting down for good uh, restaurants barber shops beauty salons uh, small businesses, everything that is your everyday store, your small store, your family owned business for a couple of years, that is shutting down. That is not coming back up. Why? Because the economy stopped. The government was more preoccupied on big corporations lending money to people that can afford or can withstand uh, the short amount of time that's been closed instead of worrying about the small people, the people that depend on those small businesses to feed their families and that right there, that fact right there has catalyst the starting of a crash because the unemployment rate, if you've not noticed it throughout the month of eight when they gave month of April, unemployment rate skyrocketed and it will continue to go up because these small businesses add up. It could be five in your town, it could be ten in your city, but if you start adding up all those fives, tens, fifteens and all those numbers that add up to lots and lots of people being unemployed and not just unemployed for the situation but unemployed for a long amount of time because we do not know when will eventually the economy will start up back again and how much will it be the capacity for people to get their jobs back or have jobs. This is the reality that we are facing right now. This is the start of the decline. And why do we say that? Because there is still time for you to prepare. If you're invested in the stock market, if you have the opportunity to, uh, to save up some cash or just to hold on and brace yourself for what is going to happen. We pray and we hope that uh, not necessarily that we're wrong, but there will be intervention and things will get back better the sooner or and the better. But the reality is that if you've noticed this stimulus package or this uh, injection to the economy has been staggering unlike other stimulus packets because this last one has become a party fight instead of worrying about the people. So 
I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys stay healthy. And always remember to have that king mentality.